Dear mainstream media, why do you still insult our intelligence by claiming to be impartial, when the WikiLeaks email dump has exposed the fact that you're pretty much a public relations firm for Hillary Clinton? You're not journalists, you're prostitutes. You're fucking sellout hacks who thought you wouldn't get caught prostrating yourselves for Team Hillary. Well, you have been caught, and it's fucking sickening. Handing questions to Hillary 24 hours before a town hall debate. Giving Hillary's campaign staff veto power over your articles. Lavishing her with praise and saying the story you're writing about her is the one that she wants. Scheming with Team Hillary to write op-eds that would give her a quote, big presence. Allowing Hillary's campaign to play stories with you as they literally describe you as friendlies, teeing up stories to benefit Hillary, going to John Podesta's house for cosy dinners, being cherished by Hillary like you're her secret crush, never Trumpers. Was it really worth trashing your entire careers and shitting on your audience just so you could pretend to be part of the establishment. Louise Mensch, a self-proclaimed conservative, exposed as a Hillary sycophant, writing emails begging to write campaign ads for her. My average retweets per tweet, 1896. Louise Mensch's average retweets per tweet, four. <laughs> No one resonates with your bullshit. I mean, at least Politico's Glenn Thrush had the honesty to admit that he was a hack. When are the rest of you going to come clean and admit that you're taking it up the ass from Hillary, Podesta, and the rest of the Democratic Party establishment on a daily basis? Journalist donations, $382,000 to Hillary only $14,000 to Trump. There's no media bias though. Yeah, right. Dear mainstream media, why is Donald Trump a crazy dangerous conspiracy theorist for talking about a rigged system? Donald Trump's biggest lie is about the election itself, the integrity of the election. He is alleging a massive conspiracy. The system, folks, is rigged. Of course the elections will not be rigged. What does that mean? But when Democrats talk about a rigged system, they're paragons of wisdom. A sense of a rigged system. The game is rigged against them. So there's a sense the game is rigged. Yes, this is what a rigged economy is about. A rigged system. They'll do anything to rig the system to vote the top. The game is rigged. How can you claim that vote fraud is not a thing? while top Democratic Party operatives are on tape bragging about how they carry out vote fraud. No, absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? We've been busting people in to deep fucking assholes for 50 years, and we're not gonna stop now. If nothing is rigged, why did your moderators interrupt Trump way more times than Clinton during the debates? And, and why did it morph into excuse that? Me, no, did you? No, answer the question. Why do you, you still believe? Her? You I do. me all the time. Why don't you Would interrupt you please? her? And even insert themselves into the debates. There are sometimes reasons the military does that. I, Psychological I can't warfare. Think of any. I can't think of any. It I'm might be to help get General civilians Flynn, out. And we, I'd like to know, Anderson, why aren't you bringing up the emails? I'd like to know. It's nice to one on three. If nothing is rigged, why do you need to rig post-debate polls by sampling more Democrats than Republicans every time to ensure Hillary wins? If nothing is rigged, then why does your satellite feed mysteriously drop every time someone is about to say something negative about Hillary Clinton. Two thirds or more of the public knows that Hillary Clinton's a liar. She can't be trusted. And now the two faces of Hillary Clinton are coming out. The fact through WikiLeaks that she says one thing. Uh, and oh no. It was Hillary Clinton that she should get an award from them as the founder of ISIS. That's what it because of her support in the 1990s for anti-crime legislation that ultimately helped contribute to this era of mass incarceration that she now uh, speaks out uh, again. Uh -oh. uh, we just lost, uh, we just lost Brianna Keeler. Dear mainstream media, why did you spin the narrative all year that it was Trump supporters who were to blame for violence at Trump rallies? If you want to know what led up to Chicago tonight, that was Donald Trump's display of leadership. Candidate Donald Trump's rhetoric has escalated it. When it was clearly Democratic Party hired agitators who were responsible. So the Chicago protest, when they shut all that, that was us. In, in the lines at Trump rallies. We need to start this shit right away. We have mentally ill people, mm. we pay to do shit. 
make no mistake. The whole point okay. of it is we know that Trout's people will, will freak the fuck out. The security team will freak out, and his supporters will lose their shit. Foval and his people train the agitators to go to Trump rallies. Which means we have to have a central kind of agitator training. Yep. We are contracted directly with the DNC and the campaign. What we don't need is for it to show up on CNN that the DNC paid for X people to, that's not gonna happen. Ultimately, the whole endeavor is to get negative press of Trump and his supporters in local and national media. Dear mainstream media, why are you closing down comment sections on your website? And they claim it's, oh, it's trolling. It's abuse and harassment. No, it's fucking not. It's because everybody hates you and you lie. Why have you spent the last two weeks obsessing over words that Trump said 11 years ago while affording virtually zero attention to bombshell WikiLeaks revelations about Hillary Clinton's actions? Not her words, her actions. Actions that impact everyday working Americans right here, right now. While suggesting that it's illegal for the public to even read WikiLeaks emails and that anything we learn from them must be through you. It's illegal to possess. Uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. Dear mainstream media, how can you have the temerity to constantly demonize us as conspiracy theorists? This crap about her supposed health and all this stuff that's been made up that's plainly wrong. He peddles uh, these conspiracy theories. It's very troubling. Conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. When you routinely peddle the most grotesque, damaging, and misleading conspiracy theories imaginable. Oh, you know, like that one about Saddam Hussein having weapons of mass destruction. A conspiracy theory that led to the slaughter of hundreds of thousands of people and the rise of ISIS. Dear mainstream media, why do you feign surprise and shock when a crowd chants that you suck? But I think this is very high on the list of irresponsible things the guy has done. This is much, much worse than what we've seen in the past. These people are yelling and shouting and threatening. It's not because they're dangerous, it's not because they're misinformed, it's because you actually do fucking suck. Do you realize what you've done? You've almost succeeded in destroying the fourth estate. You should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. This is why 94% of the American people don't trust you. When are you going to get that through your thick Skulls. You lie. You smear. You ingratiate yourselves with wanton abandon. Dear mainstream media, you've betrayed your profession. You've sacrificed its once sacred principles. And you've stabbed the American people in the back. Kindly fuck off and leave the rest of us to do your job for you.